TBS Mojito, the true successor of the TBS Caipirinha, one of the most iconic wing that Team Black Sheep ever produced. This aircraft is truly amazing in terms of efficiency and fun one can have, but it has two really big problems. Let's talk about them. So, as you might guess, that was actually my second mojito. So, I have pieces of mojito now. But why, you might ask? Well, to answer that question, we have to take a look at this part of the fuselage. This part of the fuselage is the one that interfaces with the wing and it has two jobs that must be accomplished. Job one is to hold the wing together the fuselage and do not make the wing slip away. So that is actually accomplished with these two hooks that you can see here. And the second thing that it needs to do is to connect to the wing. So we have a connector here where we have the servo signals for both air brakes and ailerons and more spare pins for lights and other stuff that one might install inside the wings. If we take a look at the wing latch, we can see that we have two parts. First of all, we have these horns that come out and this really small lip of plastic that is like 1.5 millimeters. And then in the wing, we have a push button. This push button will slide into the wing and uh, when the wing is pressed, it will go down and then up, securely latching the wing to the plane. Thing is that what is actually holding your wing on, it's really this 1.5 millimeter of plastic. Especially in the beginning, I had a lot of crushes when launching this wing. And what happened is that these small plastic lips become like used, like broken. And that was hard to see, but what happened in the next flight is actually that due to vibration and g-forces, the wing slapped outwards and disconnected from the aircraft. So without the control of one wing, this aircraft will not have elevator authority, only roll, like coupled with pitch. But that's not great and that is why I crashed the first time into the forest. So for the first crash, I thought it was my fault because I crashed the wing a lot before and it was kind of broken and then it happened to disconnect one wing and voila. So I bought a new Mojito. But the thing is, is that I'm using a foldable propellers and foldable propellers, when they are quickly accelerated, sometimes they don't deploy correctly very quickly and they produce a little bit of vibration starting up. What happened is that this vibration made both my wing disconnect. So in that case, it was a new mojito with new latches, never crushed, never abused, and it still disconnected with some vibration. That was really not okay. For the first problem of the latch letting the wings slide off in case it's slightly damaged, I created a tab that goes inside the main fuselage. So you can see this tab here. It can be either 3D printed or a CNC machine out of carbon fiber. I'm actually selling this on my website. And the idea here is that we remove the original mechanism, so with the push bottom and the spring, and we replace the original mechanism with this 3D printed one that holds a nut inside here and has a screw. And the idea is that when our tab will be inserted here and the screws is screwed in, it will lock the tab and it will be impossible for the wing to slide off. With the new part installed, we can just take out the screw and then insert the wing. Voila! And once the wing is inserted, we can just screw on the wing. And here we have a very good connection that will never let the wing come out. One thing I want to mention is that I use the old tabs that hold the wing on to make a friction fit with the wing. 
so it will actually be quite hard to push the wing on but also quite hard to take the wing off even without the screw. I would like to demonstrate now the second issue about the mojito. So for this let's first of all take out this part. I'm gonna take out one connector. Now that the connector is taken apart we can see that the pin engagement of this connector is really short. So if I press it gently, like here it's only the plastic inside the other plastic, but if I press it gently, okay, this is like the distance between the connector where the metal pins will start to engage. So we can measure that and we find that it's about 2.5 millimeters. So we can push it all the way in and here we see that it's flush inside the wing. If I insert the connector into the fuselage without screwing in and I couple the wing, okay, as you can see the wing is completely flush with the fuselage and then I take it out. We can see that there is a space between the two connectors. And if we measure that, we found out that is about 1.6 millimeters. What does that mean? It does mean that the distance of engagement that TPS used for this connector is one millimeter. That means that if the wing separates from the fuselage of more than one millimeter, the servo would disconnect. This to me is a design error and must be corrected. To correct this error, I designed and printed two parts that will space the connector on the main fuselage or the wing more close together so that they can connect properly. You can find this part to download in the descriptions. My advice is to print these parts and put them behind the connector on the fuselage to space it out of the missing one millimeter to have more engagement of the connector as the connector should properly be used and not as TPS designed them. This said, I love the Mojito platform. It's very elegant and it's extremely efficient. It comes with some challenges, but I find it very cool to fly and I will make a review in the future. I hope this video helps you. Please fix these problems before flying your mojito again, especially the distance in the connector. Stay tuned because in the next video we are gonna check out the ADSB receiver that enables you to receive the ADSB data in your aircraft to know the location and direction of other aircraft near you. This said, happy flying, see you in the next video.